Hi, this is Mike at RV Blogger, and today we are going to replace our dinette top in our RV. This is a traditional style for mica, regular old top, and you can convert the dinette into a bed. Just pull the, the, the top off and it fits in and all the cushions fill in and it makes a nice size bed. But the problem is this thing weighs a ton. And so um, I was trying to find an alternative product because it hurts my back every time I have to pull this thing out. It weighs a ton. And uh, I wanted to find a lighter product that was strong enough to not only serve as a table but also a bed if there's somebody here sleeping on it. And we found a great product for that. It's called Lamalite. I wrote a blog post article about it. And um, um, doing my research trying to find a table. So we ordered it. We just got it in the mail today. So we'll unbox it. Uh, I'm going to weigh the two. And then we're going to go ahead and, um, and, and do the replacement. Part of the replacement that we have to do is on our top, we put our... We put our handy dandy drawer here for all of our forks and knives and spoons. So I have to remount this onto the new table. We also had cup holders installed on the new table on each of the ends because we sit on each end. And so that way we have a place to put our cups. Plus when we're rolling down the road, Susan jumps up to make a couple of Diet Cokes for us. She can put the cups in the cup holders and put the ice and pour the sodas and they're not gonna go flying everywhere while we're, you know, jetting down the road, which a lot of times we are, and I always want a soda. So, um, so that's what we're going to do. The other thing we have to do is on the bottom of the table there are the two poles, and I have to remount the cups that receive the poles to hold the table in place on the new dinette top as well. So we're going to show you all that. We'll show you us putting in the new uh, tabletop. We'll show you how much lighter it is, and uh, there you go. Okay, I'm going to attempt to lift this heavy four mica table out of here and you can see now I hurt my back recently so any grimacing that you see is actual pain I want to make that clear here we go first thing I need to do <laughs> is take this out I almost forgot that that would be a gigantic mess okay there we go so let's go out and see how much this thing weighs it's pretty heavy compared to the new one that we just got which is really light and um, and what we'll do is we have to put these cups on the new uh, dinette top and we have to put our drawer guides on the new dinette top and then we'll be all ready to pop the new dinette top back in place here we go so we got our new countertop today from American Stonecast products and there she is and as you can tell baby is a lot lighter than the old countertop so same size pretty much the same color it's a little bit darker they have like seven different colors to choose from this is the one we thought matched our old countertop the best and um, like I said here's the two drink holders we had ordered with it so we're gonna test the measurement of it now uh, the weight of it now and um, see which one is is lighter I already know this one's way lighter I mean it's way way lighter this sucker this thing weighs a ton so I am going to um, prove indisputably that the camera adds 20 pounds because I'm going to jump on the scale and show you how much how much these things weigh I think the most accurate way to do it is with me holding them rather than just putting them on the scale we tried a little rehearsal and the countertop does not weigh the same if I just put it on the scale um, it weighs more than if I add it to my own weight and hold it on there so we want to give an accurate weight so I'm gonna have to expose myself I'm not happy about it all right are you ready here we go
Okay, so when I went to order my new top from American Stonecast products, I had to just take some measurements of my existing old Formica table top. And then they used all those measurements that I gave them just on a simple piece of paper. And then from that, they were able to produce the new top. Now the reason I had to put where these, where the round holders are, which are these pieces here, which is where the legs go, pull, you know, uh, push into, is because they actually put metal in the table to receive these. So both of these spots have metal plates built into the table. And then there's another spot here, which they put a metal plate in as well. They probably didn't need to because the drawer, because the drawer really isn't that heavy. But uh, that's all that you need to do for them. They'll be able to take this drawing and make a great table. Now, the tape, my old table, as you can see, it does not have perfect 90 degree corners. The whole thing is rounded. Um, I didn't, you know, I took pictures of the table as well. Um, and it's amazing how close they got. I'll put one on top of the other so you can see. But I mean, it's it's pretty darn close. And they did a just a fantastic job sizing it the right way. The other really nice thing they did is my existing countertop uh, on the edging has a seam on the flat edge of the table. The flat edge of the table is what faces the walkway between the dinette and the kitchen sink and stove and all that stuff. So it gets the most amount of traffic walking by it. And that, you don't want your edge to be in that area because it can get snagged and, you know, damaged. So when we had the new top made, we put that factory edge on the back of the dinette table. This is inside the booth. It gets, you know, nobody sits back there that often. So there's less chance of any damage occurring because we put the seam on the back the front side of it's nice and smooth, which is where all the traffic is walking past the dinette top. So that was their idea. Fantastic recommendation on their part. They make countertops for RVs, but also for boats and airplanes. And everybody wants to be as light as possible while they're rolling down the road or flying through the sky or jetting through the water so they get the best uh, gas mileage. RVers are certainly no different, but I wanted it primarily because I'm tired of pulling my back every time I pull the dinette table out. So anyway, we'll go ahead and, uh, and mount these things onto the new table and we'll be ready to install it in the RV. All right, so now we have all the prep work done. The cups are installed that will sit on the poles. So that's what holds the table in place. Our drawer guides are installed so we can slide our drawer in with all of our silverware. So let's head in the RV and try it out. Okay, so here we are with our new 
Don that top, look how light this thing is. I mean, this is great. There's really nothing to it. Let's get her lined up. That is not lined up. There you go. She's in place. Good as new. We will uh, take our handy dandy drawer. Slide that in place. Here's our new cup holders. And that's it. Our brand new countertop is installed. And uh, next time I have to pull this baby out to turn the dinette into a bed, it will be a much lighter top for me to mess around with. Um, and it does pull your back because when you're in this position and you have to lift, you know, that's not a good place to be. So anyway, there's our new Lamalite dinette table. All done. Okay, we're going to take our brand new dinette table and go ahead and turn the dinette into a bed. And then we're going to get Susan to stand on it and uh, make sure it doesn't break. Luckily, uh, with the drink cup holders we got these on purpose so that they're deeper than the table you can see they go below the level of the table but if you put a soda or a beer in here or you know it would it would tip over if it was only as thick as the table so they drop in there and they're removable so when you got when you have to turn your dinette into a bed you can pop these out so it's nice and flat and you don't have to worry about it you know hitting anything um, also, they have handy dandy holes in the bottom, so if you get any water in them, they can drain out. Although we don't want that happening in the RV. Right, honey? Right. I can easily lay on here. I'm no lightweight, and this thing seems to be fine. Is it bending? Nope. In our um, in our blog article on our website, which we'll put a link in the video, but um, you could also go to rvblogger.com and in the magnifying search bar, just type in there dinette. It'll pop. It'll pull the article up. We have a YouTube video where they have four lamellite tables. They took a BMW. Put it on top put one wheel of the bmw on each of the four tables and it held all that weight for quite some time and um so these things are good and strong and i'm not as heavy as a bmw so there you go there's our brand new countertop hope you like the video uh if you like it please give us a thumbs up please subscribe to rvblogger.com we love to have you guys follow us and watch all of our how-to videos and uh, watch us having fun as we're on the road. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it.